Hey guys, it's the Quincy Gentleman again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be continuing the videos on AR Foundation. I did show you a video previously, part one and part two, where we created a skeleton by making, basically adding cubes together. So what I'm going to be doing today is finishing up the skeleton. We added the body, we added the neck, the head. What I'm going to be doing is adding the hands and then basically finish it up so that you can have it as a reference. So let's go ahead and jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing in this video, which is to finish the skeleton that I created that was actually made of cubes. So I'm gonna show you a demo of the previous video so that you have an idea of what we have so far. And if you didn't watch the previous video and the previous the video pre pre previous to that, if I can even say that word, make sure that you, you watch that because it's gonna show you what I did from the very beginning. So this is a demo that I have so far. I have the, you know, both of the legs, also the spine and the neck and also the head. For some reason, the neck is not showing pretty well, but it's actually in there. I also make some changes to the head. I made it a little bigger. So we're gonna be adding the hands and also the, basically the entire arm so that we can see how those look when we run the experience. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go into the Unity project. And if you watch my videos before, you know how much I like to keep a history of everything that I'm making. So for every single one of these videos, I specifically for the body tracking, I have one, you know, have one scene per video. So the human body tracking body only, this is going to be basically the bottom section of the, of the skeleton. This one is going to be the body and the head, which is what we're looking at right now. For this video, I'm going to call it full body and or we can just say body full so that we have the same naming convention that I use. The reason why I want to do that is because I want to allow you to run each example independently and know exactly the progress of these videos. So I'm going to call this one body full and we can just go ahead and double click it, open it up. And then I'm also going to go into my build settings and make sure that I have that scene at it. Looks like I have it at it. And now that's gonna be the one that is checked because that's gonna be the one that we're gonna be building to the iOS device. So, so this is good. I think we started at a good pace here. So now what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you the skeleton that I have so far. And as well as the previous video and the video prior to that one, I have, you know, this one is gonna be the first skeleton that we, you know, that we ever created. I call this one the bottom skeleton. This one is going to be the, the top one. Let me just put it on the side. And what I'm going to do on this one is going to be finishing up, fi finishing it up, if I can even say that, and with the arms. That's what basically what I'm going to be doing. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to clone it. And this one we can just say full. I'm going to go ahead and remove these other ones. This one I'm going to unpack the prefab completely. And then I'm just going to create a new prefab out of this one. And then we can, we can apply any prefab changes that we need. I'm also going to be resizing everything here. Okay, so we have so far so good everything. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know this by memory. I just been playing with these recently. So I'm gonna use the controller Robo as a reference. I've been doing that for the previous videos and I'm gonna do that again. All right, I would be, I would be lying if I tell you that I know because I really don't know. It's just, you know, more of a learning experience so far. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this one on the side and then I'm gonna be using the namings. And names are very important when it comes to body tracking. The reason for that is because Unity is, is looking at the the names that ARKit is sending to us in order for them to in order for the engine to actually apply the the, the proper transformations. Alright, so I think um, I think I'm good here. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and expand this one. And you want to go to the by Robo Ace Skeleton, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna get to a point where I can get to the left and right shoulder. Those are gonna be the, the next game objects. So all of these ones I already have set up in this skeleton button full. Okay, and then I have everything in the next, so I don't need to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, if you notice, this one is going to be for the right shoulder and one for the left shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and expand this. And I think I'm gonna run out of room here. So I'm gonna move the project to the right and also the console to the right hand. And then that way we can get more, more real estate here. 
we don't need to look at these so we basically the game view is not as important as what I'm gonna be doing in the scene view so this is gonna be the bigger one all right so this is spine three four let's go ahead and get into spine seven and then here's our neck so what I'm gonna do for these is I'm just gonna copy the neck and then we're gonna use that as a, basically as a reference so if you notice I have a, red, a right shoulder and a left shoulder and if we look at it, the right shoulder is gonna be, of course, it's gonna be the opposite direction because we're facing the character. So we wanna make sure that we place the new cube at the right position. So I'm just gonna clone this one. And I'm going to go ahead and, and that's going to include everything. And to be honest, I don't want to include everything, but that, that's okay. We'll, we'll remove everything else that we have in here. And then this is just gonna be the right shoulder. So I'm just gonna name it right shoulder one. And then I think I, there we go. I think I'm good here. And then this one includes a cube. So I want to go ahead and make sure that I'm resizing that cube. And this depends on, on you know, how you want to set this up. I, I want the shoulder to show up so we can, and I'm gonna clone this shoulder with the left shoulder. That way we keep everything con consistent. And we can probably just Let's see, I'll we'll probably just resize it here. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of match the the depth of the spine just to make sure. Okay, so I think I think I'm good there and everything looks good. So now let's go ahead and look at expand the left, and this is gonna be the right arm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do everything for the right shoulder, and then we'll do the left shoulder right after that. Or the other thing that we can do is we can just do both at the same time. And you know what? In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do that and then we can just offset it. And let's see, I want to offset it on, on Z. So I'm just gonna do negative. And then we can just bring it in closer to us. And there we go. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is just all prototype. And okay, so we have our, so this one is gonna be the left shoulder. So let's go ahead and call it left shoulder. We can also call it left shoulder one, just like we, so just to keep this in mind, we're gonna keep, you know, all the names the same. And like I said before, if we don't, it's not going to track the information correctly. Okay, so now the next one is gonna be the arm. And it's gonna be this part of the arm. There we go. So what I'm gonna do here is, we're going to also clone this object. But instead of cloning it, make sure that we copy it and then I'm gonna select the cube so that it puts it at the same level. And then I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit and then we can just resize it a tiny bit. And we can probably just kind of get this one as a reference. In that, that works. And in fact, what I'm gonna do with the robot, I'm gonna basically move it back. And we can, we can let me see what the, okay, I'm gonna copy the X position and the reason why I'm gonna do this is because I want to make sure that I'm that I'm somewhat close to that other model. Otherwise, things are just not gonna look right. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but somewhere somewhere close to to what we have. So I'm just gonna copy this name, and then I'm going to rename this new object that we have. All right. And just by looking at the reference there, I'm going to move it out a little bit more. So let's do something like that. I think works. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it and then paste it in here. This one is going to be the left arm. So I'm just going to, I'm going to assume that all these names are gonna be just, you know, from right to left. And then we can just go ahead and go through and make sure that we have them correct. Okay, so then what I'll do here is, let's see, let's go ahead and place it somewhere. Let's go into auto graphic view and I'll just go ahead and, there we go. It's gonna be a lot easier to to make sure that I'm matching, not perfectly, but somewhere close to what we have on the rubber. Okay, so I think that, I think something like that works. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move into the forearm. So for the forearm, I'm going to go ahead and open the right arm and go ahead and clone it. And let's select the next, basically the cube that is inside. This one is going to be the right forearm. So let's go ahead and call it right forearm and make sure that I have it spelled correctly. Okay, and what I'll do is I'm gonna select the robot just to make sure that 
it, you know, we know that the right position. I'm going to go ahead and move this out. And the other thing that I'm also going to do for, for this one specifically, I'm going to go ahead and resize the cube just a tiny bit more. And we're just gonna make it, we can just make it a little smaller. Or in fact, we can just make it bigger because if we, if we make it too small, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be really hard to see the arm because this piece right here is not a piece that we have on this skeleton. So I think, I think that works. Now let's go ahead and copy this one, go into my, my left shoulder area, select this, and then this one is going to be the left forearm and they're spelled correctly. And then what I'll do here, I'll just move this one and then place it right about that area. And we can just go ahead and center this one a little bit more. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll bring him up a little bit more. And I don't know that I, if I move this one, there we go. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and move him up a little bit more. How about, how about move him down? Not that I'm, that I'm thinking about the angle on the rubber. Let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I think I'm happy with, with those results so far. So we have the right forearm, left forearm. Now let's see what else we have. So the last thing that I'm gonna have is the, we don't need to do the fingers for this demonstration. So I'm just gonna do the hand. So I'm gonna clone this and then again, go inside. The, the hand, I wanna make it big because I wanna basically see, be able to see it easily. So I'm just gonna do right hand there, copy that one and then, well, before we copy it, let's go ahead and place it. And then I'll just go ahead and make it look like a hand or somewhere close to a hand. I'm not going to resize the parent. Remember, I'm going to resize just the object that is inside. And then I'll just do, I'll just do something like this. Okay, so I think, I think that works. And let me go back into my auto graphic view. And I'm just going to move it back out a little bit. Well, not the, okay, let me make sure that I undo that. And okay, so I'm going to be, Somewhere, somewhere close to there, I think that, that works. All right, so now let's go ahead and copy it and then go into our left forearm and then paste the left hand and then we'll reposition it. Okay, so I'm just gonna move, I'm just gonna move this one here and there we go. So the other thing that I could do that I didn't do is I'm just gonna give this one a little bit of an angle, but I'll do that on the cube the object that is inside and we can just we can just do something like that it doesn't need to be doesn't need to be right on and this one can just be something like that and we can just go outside a little bit more okay let me go my, back to my other hand okay so i think i think i'm happy with what we have so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to check everything that i did just to make sure that i didn't that i didn't miss anything so we have our right shoulder and left shoulder, right shoulder one, left shoulder one, and then we have our right arm, which comes next, left arm, then the right forearm and the left forearm. Those ones look good. And then lastly, the right hand and the left hand. So I think this is gonna work. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. And let me see if I need to resize anything. Just curious on I think the head is it's quite a it's quite big, but I think I I wanted to see it bigger and see how that would look like. And I think I think this works just fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the to the prefab, the changes that we did, and it's gonna say apply all. Now we have a new skeleton that is that is you know that is set, but I'm also going to change the position. I want to make sure that it's a zero 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 just to keep things clean. And let me cancel this. Looks like I click, I click on something else. All right, so I think we're good as far as the skeleton. I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna go here and then add it again just to make sure that we have everything set up correctly. I'm also going to select it, open prefab and make sure that, see, this is what I was afraid of. I wanna make sure that this is at zero, zero, zero. Otherwise it's not gonna be positioned correctly. And then I think we're good there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I need to associate, so now we can move this back so that we can have more spacing. Let me go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna go into my default, my default view here. Okay, and we can go back here. 
play, replace this one, change this to my iPhone portrait, and then go back here, and then, okay, so it looks like we're, we're good. So now what I need to do, let's go into my skeleton, and I'm going to go ahead and change this, and instead of using the skeleton button and top, because this is gonna be the one with the head and the body doesn't have the arms, we're gonna be associating the skeleton button full with the AR human body tracker, the skeleton prefab that is associated in that script. So I'm gonna drag it and drop it there. And that should be everything that we need to do for this video. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be running this and show you a demo on how it looks on my device. So let's go ahead and go and build it. Make sure that we have that scene selected. Go into build. And I already have the body tracking scene built with the previous video. So I'm just gonna do an append so that it builds. And because if that's a diff, it's gonna be faster. And it should be done here in a few, you know, in a few minutes. So let me go ahead and jump into my phone, build it, and then I'll show you how that looks. All right, guys, so I got the application or better call the AR experience running on my device. And I wanna show you how it looks. Let's go ahead and play it. So you can see that I'm basically, you know, showing in the scene. And as soon as I, the, the device tracks my body, it starts adding, you know, all the different pieces of the skeleton. I also make some changes to the skeleton. I, I made it more of a cube instead of flat on my hands. And the reason for that is because it actually made it easier for me to, to work with. And you can see that everything is just getting tracked pretty well. Um, I'm pretending that I'm a fighter and just doing different things and just being funny. I, I really enjoy doing these things. And if I go forward, you can see I'm lifting my hands and my kid is gonna love this because this is what he does. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from, probably from, from one of the games, Fortnite or, or I don't know what it is, but he always does that kind of thing. So anyways, that's, that's what I wanted to show you. And, and if you guys have any questions about the skeleton, let me know. I am also going to be submitting this to GitHub. The thing it's called Human Body Tracking Body Full, and it's going to be available in the same repository that I've been posting for the last, you know, for the last few videos. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also posting early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.